All right, hey everybody, this is Daxon here with Noxod.org and video number two. Um, if you watch video number one, go ahead and watch it where we got the power station, water pump, our wall, doors, holding cell, canteen, kitchen, things like that. Now we're ready to move on to building a shower for our, for our grant, okay? So what we can do is go down the materials, just find a little brick wall and we can just um, do something like that we'll close it in get an object um, go to objects and go to door push R so we can add the door on the end or wherever you want to add it just like that now to designate this as a shower we need to go to rooms we need to find our shower Click and drag just like we did before, and that'll turn that into the shower. Now it says we need to add shower heads, of course. So let's go to objects, find shower head, and we can just add quite a few of them in here. Now something it doesn't really tell you, but you need to know. Let me rotate these shower heads real quick back this way so they're pointing the right way. You need to have drains, otherwise it's going to flood and make a mess. So um, go down here to your objects and find drain. And I always just put a drain on every part of the shower so we don't have any flooding problems or issues. Okay, now of course our shower heads need water. So let's run some water down here. Basically it'll cover all this area so all our shower heads get water. And one last thing for our grant we need to build is a yard. Once again, we can go down here. You can use a brick wall. You can use a fence, whatever you want. I always use a brick wall just for just for the heck of it. Leave some space there for them to access that door. So go over one. And we'll do something like this. And we want to add a door for them to get into the yard. Let's add a couple doors. Go to rooms. Click yard. And we'll designate this area as the yard where they get exercise. Okay. Wait for them to start building that. Now in the yard, you don't really have to put anything. Um, I always go to objects and I add like some weight benches. They like to use those. Just kind of put them wherever you want really. Just like that. And later on when we unlock um, the capability to add a tree while a tree... Right now we can also add, let's add two radios to help keep them a little bit happier. We can also go down here to materials again and you can find grass. Click and drag and we'll add grass there. Not something you have to do, but just kind of makes it look better. So. So now that we got all of that completed, you can see that disappeared and we got the last $10,000 uh, for our grant. Okay, so now we have $47,000. We have quite a few prisoners here. Now that's a problem. They're going to end up fighting because we're getting too many people in the holding cell. What we need to do now is start building some cells. So one way you can do this is you can build your own cell. The fast way is to go down here to quick build and basic cell or you can do a shared cell. Shared cell holds up to four people. Costs a little bit more but it's it's a lot better. So we can just, let's see, we'll start adding them. Um, let's go right here and then overlap the sides. You see how I have the sides? Overlap them just like that. And let's add a few cells here. R, push R twice and rotate them have it just like that let's we'll start off with 10 of them so we can hold a decent amount of of prisoners now we only have 23,000 left because that was pretty expensive for all this now we're going to need to add power and water let's run down to our utilities here drag over for our power and same thing with our water to the toilets water to those toilets and then 
Not sure where the lights need to go down in here yet. I don't see any bolts flashing, so. See, the guard automatically comes and starts putting prisoners in the cell. If you ever see them doing that, don't worry. They're just waiting for a guard to come and lock the door. Now, we only have two guards and two um, cooks like we started off with. Let's go ahead and get some more as our prisoner count. We have 26 prisoners and only can technically hold 15 as of now. Um, so let's go ahead and add um, four more guards. Just click to hire them. And let's add two more cooks. Okay. We can add a few more workers if we want speed up the work process and they empty trash they build things they get deliveries you know they do all types of stuff so all right now we see a bolt pop up here lightning bolt so we know our electric is going to run down there just like that there we go now you see we have this little um, triangle pop up here that's saying there's something wrong and once again if these prisoners come out of these cells they're just going to run away so we need to add walls and open up walls here so they can get into the canteen without escaping it's easy to do we'll just go down to our materials we'll add a brick wall right there brick wall brick wall and then go to demolish walls option and we will remove those two walls as soon as all that's done you will see those triangles disappear and we are good to go See, as they're, they're fixing these, our population that we can hold is now 27. We have 26 prisoners. Okay. You also notice our daily cash flow starts growing. That's how much money we'll get every 24 hours as our prison sets. And then you'll also get um, money for your prisoner intake, which our next one will get 13 prisoners, 2 minimum, 11 normal, and we'll get $6,100. Okay. Now the triangles disappeared because see there's no way the prisoners can escape. There's brick walls there. Later on you will get to where the prisoners start digging out and you'll have to remove the tunnels um, that they dig. Otherwise they will escape. But we'll get to that as we cross that. Okay. So everything's looking good there now. We can hold 30 prisoners total. Now they're all going in here to eat. All right. Now let's see what other grants we can get to continue administrated administration center we need two offices we need to hire a warden unlock finance through bureaucracy and hire an accountant so let's click that and get a 5,000 cash advance and we'll get 5,000 when we're done now this is offices we go down here to rooms and we can find office must be blind I'm not seeing it so I'll just do a little search for it. office now you can see over there minimum size requirements 4 by 4 you need an office desk chair filing cabinet and it has to be indoors now you can build that yourself or you can go to quick build and I think there's an option here yep office so it says we needed two offices let's rotate that so the doors are up there and get our two offices um, started to be built We'll need more later, so we can go ahead and add. Let's add four just for the heck of it. So we'll need more administration as we go on. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Just like that. And of course, that's going to need power. So see, they're installing our lights. Okay. Get out of that. And now we need to hire our warden of our prison. Now that he has an office. And there he goes and he'll run right to his office and he'll stay in there and and do what he's supposed to be doing so there he is in his office walking around what else did it say we needed to do build two offices okay we have four hire a warden we did that unlock finance through bureaucracy now when i first started playing this game this took me a while to find what this is up here you'll click on this little guy and this is how you unlock like um what would you call them like upgrades maybe in another kind of game um, and it wants us to unlock finance, so we can click on that. It costs 500 bucks, and then five hours, which we have our time sped up. Um, that'll get unlocked, and we'll be good on that. And I think there's one other thing. Hire an accountant. Okay, so as soon as 
that is done loading, we will be able to hire an accountant and we'll get our other five grand for our, our um, grant. Sorry, I was drawing a blank there for a second. So this is the just of this game and we'll just keep expanding, adding things. Later you add like a school, workshop, church, you know, types of things. Up here you see our cops decided to beat up that prisoner because he was rioting. Not a whole lot you can do about that. Sometimes you will need to go to emergencies down here and call in some riot police and paramedics to heal people if you have a big disaster happen. And it does happen sometimes, so... And also, typically, you don't want minimum, maximum, or like your um, normal security prisoners all together because that causes problems. So later on, we'll use a tool we'll unlock um, in our, let's see, what is it, deployment, I think. And it'll be, allow us to separate our prisoners. Also, we'll be able to, you can click on this, and this is what minimum, normal, and then later it'll say max. So say if we want our minimum security guys, we want them to have more free time because they're less dangerous. But we want to keep these guys locked up while they're having free time. So you can change that, but kind of adjust these as you see fit. See if that's almost unlocked. Yep. Okay, so now we can go down here to staff. Click accountant and then wherever we want to set her, she'll go where she needs to go. And we'll complete that grant. Just like that. Okay. You see up here it says, this is kind of what's going on. Our prisoner intake, which I showed you, you can click on and change that, you know. Um, visitor seven, families waiting to visit. So we'll need to add a visitor's room. And also it says staff exhausted. Five members are exhausted, build a staff room so they can rest. Let's go ahead and add a staff room. We can just, uh, let's just go like this, staff room. Let's also add a visitor room. Let's kind of make them decent size here. Let's add our doors for our visitors area. And we want staff doors for our staff room. We don't want anyone else going in there besides our staff. Okay. And we also want to go ahead and block it in. So go to materials, brick wall. And let's block this in so if prisoners do get walking down here, they can't escape. Okay. Of course, we need electricity in every building we, we build. Doesn't really matter how you do this, just as long as they're all touching. And you will eventually see that we'll have to make more power generators, um, power stations and things, because you can see our little meter here is almost halfway. Once that gets up to the top, it'll shut off and not be able to function. So we'll have to build new ones and take some of the load off of that one. Now we do have 39 prisoners, so we do need to go ahead and hire some more staff, or some more um, officers, some more guards. Okay. Now you see when it starts getting dark, our yard's dark, and that makes for a dangerous situation, really. And it's hard to see, so I just always add some lights. Just kind of randomly click around wherever you want to put the lights. Our guys will start installing them and you'll see this thing really light up. Let's watch this. They starting to light up pretty good. Okay. This video is getting long, so stay tuned for video number three of this Prison Architect tutorial video series. Um, Video number three is next, so uh, I'll see you guys there. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, suggestions, you know, just want to say hey or whatever, I'll try to do my best to answer y'all back. Um, also, don't forget to check out my website, www.noxad.org. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later.